There's only one thing that magicians want, and it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, that's right, it's coin magic. For some reason, magicians can't get enough of coin magic because they're always asking for it. Hey, Piggy, show us a coin trick. Hey, Piggy, you're doing a lot of card tricks, but you should show us a coin trick. Well, today, you guys are in luck because you're going to see a, a clever coin trick you could use to impress your friends and family. Uh, hey, guys, Jennifer Love Hewitt here with a crazy, crazy, amazing card trick. If you guys like a... Uh, wait, what the... F what is that? Is that production value? No, no, get that. Get that production value out of here. I don't want that. I don't need that stupid title. God. So if you guys like card tricks and coin tricks and stuff, uh, you guys should totally subscribe because uh, we got some hot ones coming up. <laughs> uh, so for this, we're going to need a coin. A coin. You see the... Where did the coin come from? Gee, look at the size of the coin. Look at the size of my hand. Where could that coin have come from, right? <laughs> you wonder why uh, people like coin magic. Before this, we're going to use a, a coin and some fabric. Uh, luckily for you guys, I've picked the most edgy coin I could possibly find. But uh, we're going to also need some a little bit of fabric here. So let's just uh, go down to, to show you guys what I'm talking about. Get out of here with that production value. I don't need that production value. So there's a little bit of an interesting thing with the fabric on my pants and this coin because I don't know if you guys know this but uh, if I just put the coin there and cover it up uh, you know it's crazy if I just just press a little bit hard it could actually go through the fabric of my pants and actually through my massive thigh oh boy I'm so excited I'll tell you what we'll do this one more time we'll do this one more time sir so, so uh, I'll, I'll have you do it so I'm gonna put the coin right here I want you to grab it do me a favor and touch it and the spectator puts their finger right there and they feel the coin and you tell them uh, when do you want me to do the magic sir you tell me when 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 do you want me to do the magic and of course the spectator says now I uh, tell them let go when they let go guess what they see that the coin is gone but here's the most amazing part of this entire thing they could still feel the coin through your pants which is fairly interesting so you tell them to reach into your pocket and uh they reach inside and guess what they find they find the coin inside thus showing that it's penetrated through uh fabric to to go inside of your pocket oh boy i'm so excited i can't wait to see what's inside uh -huh. another coin um okay so uh that's that's the trick that's the Oh, all right. Uh, we could do that. We could. I can. Um. Hey, hey, guys. My eyes are up here. <laughs> um, so this is a cool trick from uh, Bobo's Coin Magic. However, it's not the only place I've seen it. I've seen it in a bunch of different places, little kids' books. But it's still a classic and something that you should know about and something that you should perform if the opportunity arises. All you need for this is one coin. Uh, you need one single coin. That's a lie. You need two coins. You need two two coins uh, for this particular trick uh, and one coin starts in your pocket and then you're ready to go the other coin starts in the other pocket or in your palm uh, or if you want you can have it in this palm so you could do one of these one of these productions right here where you snap your fingers and it shows there but i would go against that because then it really shows everyone uh that you've never ever touched a woman so here we go here we go uh what you do is you're going to tell the spectator that we're going to use the fabric of your good old pants here to see if we can make a little bit of a magic happen and uh, let's lower this here so you guys could actually get a good view here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the fabric of the pants uh, to create this amazing illusion so you're gonna put the coin right there on your thigh and what's gonna happen is that you're gonna pinch that and the fabric underneath it and roll it over but you see what happens when you do that your thumb is still in contact with the coin you see the the hotness here so you're just gonna put the coin on your thigh you're gonna pinch some of the fabric and you're going to turn it over. But this this is where the amazing part of Bobo's coin magic goes. Because if you come in here with your other finger and press down on the coin, your thumb could bring that coin back up to your palm. You see the, the heatness? You see the hotness? The heat? Uh, the Miami heat? You see what's going on? So when you pinch that fabric and turn the coin over, that coin is going inside of your palm. So if you put your finger on top of that and hold the fabric there that coin is now in my palm oh yeah but it looks very natural and it looks like i'm just pinching the fabric and putting the coin there so if i put my finger of the opposite hand i could reach in the back of my thigh show the vanish and pretend to pull the coin 
from the uh, apparently through my through my thigh. And if you want, you can go, hey, I'll do it with your thigh. Uh, no, okay, that's cool. But once again, all you're doing is you're putting the coin there, you're grabbing it and pinching it with your right hand, with fabric underneath, and turning it over, so that when your other finger comes in and presses on the fabric, your thumb could do the sneaky action of drawing that coin into the palm and you're good to go that's it so now if you release the fabric the coin's gone however if you want you can do this nice little penetration effect from bobo's coin magic that's how it was written up originally and i think that's kind of a good starter to get into this so you just put the coin there apparently oh and it penetrates your thigh and the spectators think that you are a kind of a weirdo so here's the kicker for this because you have a coin in your pocket it really depends on the type of pants where the coin resides me because i'm wearing sweatpants because apparently i dress like a divorced father uh my coin is all the way here so this is where the other coin is usually they're gonna uh, be higher up in your pants if you have regular pants but once again i gotta work with what i have here so the coin is over here what's gonna happen is that you're gonna put the coin that's visible here directly on top of where that coin lines up so in this case this coin happens to be right there. So I'm gonna line it up exactly where that is. Now, when you do the move and have the spectator put their finger, you have the coin in the right hand, they're still feeling a coin. So they're still feeling a coin and they can't feel the difference in fabric. And if they do, you should stop performing for them because they have to be, um... but anyways, they can't tell the difference in fabric. So they're just pressing on a coin here. So it's very simple for you to ask them whenever they want to let go and they'll feel the magic happen. They let go and they see that the coin has penetrated through your pants. They, they still feel it. And if you want and you're feeling saucy, they could reach in there and uh, pull the coin out themselves and have a little bit of a nice moment when they realize, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. So one more time, you just line the coin up with the other coin directly underneath. Again, because my pants are all the way down here, I have to go here. You do the move. They still feel the coin. You tell them to put their finger right there and not let go. And of course, when they do let go, the coin seems to vanish and penetrate inside of your pocket. So you have a nice little bit of an effect there that you could do with uh, a coin, right? You could do a coin or two coins. That was, um, so that's the trick guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's from Bobo's Modern Coin Magic. It's also in um, first book I've ever bought on magic, which is the Mark Wilson course. It's one of these underrated tricks that you could do impromptu and you could really do anything you want with it you could really do a lot of things with it so a lot of people tend to think that oh wow i'm gonna dismiss that because it looks like my uncle charlie would do it well you know what your uncle charlie did it for a reason uh so i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna go you guys make sure to do all the things that people do uh, i'm gonna go figure out different ways to try to further talk down to my uh subscriber base um look at this Look at this position I got here. Look at it. Feels like I'm talking down to you already, right? <laughs> you old chap. Ah, all right.